Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty, and I'm back with a kind of triple threat face-off. And you're like, what does that even mean? Well, I've been trying a lot of concealers lately. Everybody likes to hear about concealers and foundations and those primary products that help even out and give you that perfect complexion. I've noticed those are my top videos. So I have a few new concealers that I've tried and I thought, why not just compare them to one another and tell you which is best for which skin type in my opinion. So let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Three concealers that I have today are the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer, I have the Air Perez Arnica Concealer, which I just reviewed, and then I also have the Han Han Concealer. Mm -mm -mm. Two doe foot, one pot. You guys can see that, I don't need to tell you So that. I'm just gonna walk through each one of these and tell you what the main differences are, why you might wanna consider one, and potentially pass on one. I will start with the Ilia concealer. Just an FYI, I will put links to all of the reviews so you can watch them in depth. This is more of a high level lightning round kind of face off to see which is best for what. I also have some favorite concealer videos out there. So if you're gonna ask me like, well, these are great or I don't like these, but which one should I use? Check out that video. Just know that I am launching a seasonal update, which is gonna include all of this best of information that I know everybody is always super, super hungry for. I wanted to give it to you in a condensed format. You don't have to search the channel for everything. It's just gonna be right there for you in a little, like beautiful little PDF or maybe a download. If you want to get in on that and know when it's coming, then I will provide a link below. Just go to that page, sign up, and it will add you to a different mailing list. So it's kind of like kind of like a secret mailing list, but it's not so secret. Right? That said, let's get started with the Ilia True Skin Concealer. You, know, you wash your hair, and then it just has a mind of its own because it doesn't have enough styling product in it. This is $30. Obviously, it's a doe foot applicator. I mean, maybe that's not obvious. I hate when I say that because it comes across as kind of rude, but it is kind of obvious. It main differentiators here. I happen to really love this concealer. I like all three that I'm talking about today. None of them were major duds. This doe foot concealer, really, really nice. It's really nice for people who don't want to use their fingers, which there are a lot of us. I find this to be fuller coverage, more brightening. I have a few fine lines here, okay? And this doesn't settle into my fine lines, but if you have very delicate, maybe potentially crepier skin there, this is going to be tricky for you. So keep listening to the rest of the concealers that I talk about. If you're looking for fuller coverage, brightening, I think this is really awesome. It does a very good job, not just under the eye, but it also kind of spreads out to the rest of the face. So it's a bit more of a multitasker there. It does work with drier skin, mine is combination. So I don't see a lot of patchiness. It doesn't sit on top of the skin. That said, it is just a heavier weight, like a slightly heavier weight. Still silky, but it's a slightly heavier weight, which is why I mentioned what I mentioned about the crepier skin types if you're worried about it settling into fine lines. But overall, I find this to work really well with dry skin and it both conceals and brightens. The next is the Air Perez. This is $28, a little less expensive than the Ilia. This is a pot and it has Arnica in it. Now this I think is really good for those that suffer from acne. This is probably gonna be a better bet for more natural coverage on oilier skin types because of the Arnica in here. It's supposed to soothe and lessen inflammation. So it has that in mind. This is a serum-like concealer so it has I don't know, serum anti-aging stuff in mind, but not that much. I found this to actually be a little bit drier on my skin, so I used an eye cream underneath it and then would press it in. The finish was very natural, it sealed under eye. It didn't brighten as much. I think that more for spot treatment on the face, this would do a better job. You can build on top of it. And it offers more of a subtle concealed look. You know how sometimes you can just get that like, whoa, use a lot of concealers. This is not gonna be that for you, unless of course you're slathering it on with a spatula, which like, don't do that. I don't think you would do that. Overall, I would say for oilier skin types, acne prone, this is a great option. And then the final, fame free? Final concealer is the Han concealer. This is the most budget friendly at 18 bucks. This is going to be your fuller coverage, budget option, workhorse kind of concealer. It is a little thicker and 
tackier. It's not bad, you just need to play with it and set it. It's actually pretty phenomenal in terms of being a concealer and what it does. Just know that it's a little bit heavier. I do feel though that this, if you press it lightly, soaks in a little bit better. I think this works well for both oily and dry, and I think that because it's emollient a little bit for oilier skin types, but not too much. And then for drier skin types, it has that level of moisture in it, but it's not going to just like sit on top. This has very solid coverage and brightening effects going on with it. I would say it brightens really, really well and does it for a great price. This, in my opinion, is a little bit more of a dupe for the Fit Glow concealer. It doesn't match it, okay? It doesn't have skincare ingredients in here. Fit Glow is phenomenal as well. I talked about that in a previous video. So to recap, I'll just go backwards. The Han concealer is your budget-friendly, super brightening, fuller coverage concealer, doe foot applicator, love that. The Air Perez, lighter, a bit more neutral looking, a bit more natural looking. If you suffer from breakouts, if you need spot coverage, check this guy out. And of course you have the Ilia concealer, brightening and concealing, kind of multitasks across the rest of the face, a little bit more expensive, but worth it in my opinion. And that is all I have for this concealer face off. And here and again, I have other concealers that I've reviewed on the site. So you can check out those videos or you can just wait for the launch of the seasonal update, which kind of puts it all in there for you. And you don't even have to think about it. So you have options, okay? You always have options. Uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. And I will see you guys right back here real soon. I'm gonna go play with concealers. Okay, bye.